Then the war broke out and I joined the army after all the women's Royal Air Force. Ah. Hey, what was it like in the Women's Air Force? I enjoyed it very much. Yeah. It was a bit tough, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> Did you like make any friends when you were like in the uh, in the women's Oh yes, room? well we we were all friends together. Oh, did you have like a best friend? No, because I've moved around a lot. Oh. So, yeah. oh. so you moved around a lot? What do you mean by like you moved around a lot? To different Air Force stations. Oh, so where did you like which Air Force stations did you go to? I went to First I started off at Bridge North in Shropshire and I went to Women's Low in Cheshire then I went to Red Car on the North East Coast. No, no I didn't go there. I went to a big Air Force station just outside York. I can't remember what it was called now. I went to two outlying stations then I ended up in Red Car on the North East Coast. Oh. Did you have like a favourite station? I like Red Car very much because we used to have, um, e we used to call it PT in those days, and now they call it PE, don't they? Oh, yeah. We used to have hockey, hockey matches on the sands and, they, you know, exercises and things on the beach. experiences during the war? Bum. What experiences did you have during the war? What experience? Oh, a lot of experiences. Uh, will you tell us about a few of them, please? Well, we experienced severe rationing. We experienced severe... Di in the forces, we experienced severe discipline. We had to take a lot of responsibility. We had a lot of fun, a lot of um, we all got on very well together. We were all in in the in the same boat. Did you make a, a lot of close friends then, during Your personal friends, because we were all being moved around too much. Um, um you know with discipline. Pardon? You know with discipline. Do I know what? You know with discipline. Discipline. Like, yeah, so what would be classed as you doing something wrong? What would be? What would be classed as you doing something wrong so you'd have to be disciplined for it? Losing your kit, losing, that means your clothes. Yeah. You're given, when you when you join up, you're issued with a kit bag and you're given pyjamas, you're given everything. You're given, you're even given a little sort of Parky wallet is called the housewife. It's called the housewife. And it has needles and cottons and darning needles and wool, so that you can mend your clothes and buttons. So you can stitch if the buttons come off, you can stitch them on. And you have to keep your bus buttons. You have to use a button stick, which is a thing that goes over the button like that. And you have to polish your buttons with brush oil, and you. Badge, cat badge, and you should keep your shoes polished and just stuck in dogs. So, what did like your uniform look like? Oh, sorry. What what did your kit look like? Like what what did your t-shirts look like? Didn't wear t-shirts. Oh. We wore battle dress, which was very heavy. I don't know what sort of material they'd call it. It was a top and trousers. A top with two mm, pockets. Thick, very thick material in Air Force Blue. And that was battle dress, that was for working in. If you were doing a working job like driving or anything like that. Otherwise you wore the ordinary uniform. So what, what jobs did you do in the RRA, the women's RRA? Well, I started off in the meteorological office. I didn't like being inside all the time. So I ended up driving an ambulance. Oh. 
did you have any like experiences in the ambulance? I did once bringing a patient across to Kirkham. Well, I can't think why we came to Kirkham. There must have been a temporary hospital there, bringing a patient across from Redcar. And the only experience, queer experience we had was we ran over a badger <laughs> in the dark. Because all the headlights, were, you, you didn't have proper headlights. It had shields over the headlights and it just, I can't explain, very dim. No traffic on the road in those days, petrol was rationed. Um, how old were you when you learnt to drive? Nineteen, I think. <laughs> 